Evolution is a constant and ongoing process. While growing up, people may want to explore different parts of their sexual expressions and desires. One such exploration is many straight men having sex with other men. So why are many straight men having sex with other men? I have had many um, friends and acquaintances who may have been with women for 30 years of their life. And one fine day they realized that, well, they could also be with men. Some other friends who were with women realized that they no longer want to be with a woman, but with a man. Some other friends went through the same and they may not have been with a woman before, but with a man. And they, they wanted to be with a woman also as well. Oh yes, I have been uh, approached by uh, men who uh, who call themselves straight and I'm absolutely open to it as long as uh, it works out between us. In my you know, younger years, I have been with straight men and I have been in sexual relationships with straight men and uh, a lot of them have told me that they are not, you know, they are not gay, that they are either bisexual or they are still figuring it out and uh, later they just turn out to be straight. No, I would not because that would make me very uncomfortable and awkward after we are done, let's imagine. What are we going to talk about? The cars, gadgets, football, <laughs> how many girls you have been with in the past. Sexuality exists in a spectrum and it is not always black and white. Some men and women have same-sex encounters and call themselves straight. These people are not necessarily closeted gays, lesbians or bisexuals and they are on a journey of exploration and experimentation. Why should we consider sexuality as something that needs to be boxed? We want to conform to boxes simply because that brings a certain level of comfort and control. And then we can say that we belong to the society. Uh, when we say that, well, straight men also sometimes indulge in sexual activity with other gay men or other straight men, it's not that they have realized it today or uh, it's an experimentation. It is a part that was always there in them. Maybe they did not have a way, maybe they did not have an outlet, maybe they did not know how to express it. So it, it is always a part of the subconscious. So if they call themselves straight, there is always um, they know that they are safe, even if they indulge in sexual activity with other men or in homosexual activity. Many studies show that most straight men who want to have sex with gay men want to explore their fantasies and the things they can't with a female partner. Some do it because they've been sexually abused as children and are reenacting childhood abuse. Some do it because they're bi-curious. Some do it because they're kinky and have a fetish. Is it just limited to this or is there more to it? I think when straight men have sex with other men, they want to explore everything that anyone would want to explore from their uh, sexual experience. Uh, flesh, skin, passion, intimacy, pleasure. Some of the straight men are looking just to have sex because they are bored having the sex they are having. So, I feel that all of these men who do want to explore and also want to have sex with, uh, let's say, men, gay or straight, both, simply want to feed that curiosity and the fantasy that they build in their heads that they cannot probably have from a female partner. Because most men, they would say things like a female does not give them a satisfying fellatio, a blowjob that a man does. Maybe they themselves feel some amount of shame or embarrassment while asking for those sexual, um, you know, favors from a woman, which they would not feel from a man, simply knowing that it's a man. The men say that they want to go back to their wives because they want to belong to the social structure. They don't want to lose out on their lives or on their wives or on their family. Despite being married and having a family, why do these men have sex with other men? Isn't that cheating? And wouldn't that eventually result in losing their families? Why do we have such societal structure where cheating is only considered when a man is sleeping with another woman? The other about cheating is because of the structure of family. 
that if a man sleeps with another woman, only then it is called or known as cheating. If it happens with a man, then there is no former reference model that these people can refer to because this is unusual, it does not happen. We don't have a reference point via which we can go and call it cheating. So they consider it as uh, an unusual experience instead of calling it cheating, you know, because that doesn't come under the formal uh, mass structure wherein a man goes to another woman and sleeps with her. Um, it's not an identifiable structure. It's not an identifiable event. There is no classification system made for that. So that's why I would say that they don't consider it cheating.